Hey guys, it is I, Kuro Ninja, and I'm back with another top five list. It's been a while since I did one of these, but unlike last time where I talked about my top five Sentai Rangers, this one's gonna be about my top five Hitotsuki, the monsters of the week in Avataro Sentai Don Brothers. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion. There's also gonna be some minor spoilers for Don Brothers, and with that out of the way, let's begin. Starting off at number 5, we got Daiki, a Hitotsuki based on Dai Sentai Goggle 5, a Sentai season I haven't watched. Daiki is one of my favorite Hitotsuki because of his host. You see, in the episode where Daiki appears, it's revealed that the name of Tsuyoshi Kijino's boss is Yamada. If you've watched the other videos I made about Don Brothers, then you probably know the significance of the name Yamada. Now we never found out Yamada's given name, but Mikoto is a gender neutral name in Japan. So there's a chance that his full name is Mikoto Yamada. At number 4 is Samurai Ki. I really like the design of Samurai Ki, especially how it references the fact that the Shinkenjers have the kanji of their respective element on their helmets. Shinkenger is also one of my favorite Sentai seasons besides Kaku Ranger. Let's face it. It was inevitable that one of my favorite Hitotsuki would be one hosted by Minoru Ono, whose last name is a subtle reference to what the audience says whenever he shows up in an episode. But I have to choose one, and so I decided to go for Go Goki, because Bokenger is one of my favorite Sentai seasons. Not only that, but this is also the same episode where Sonoi makes his return with a new powered up form. Like Minoru Ono, Tsuyoshi Kijino has become a Hitotsuki more than once, but what makes Kijino's ones more interesting is that he's a part of the Don brothers themselves. The reason why I chose Geki Soki over Taioki or Hyaku Juki is because Geki Soki's appearance reveals two things about the series. Kijino's devotion to his wife isn't as healthy as we thought, and even a member of the Don brothers can become a Hitotsuki. I know most people were expecting it to happen anyway, but it was still interesting when it happened. Now before we talk about number one, let's talk about my top three favorite characters in Don Brothers overall. My favorite character in Don Brothers is Sono Ni, and my third favorite character is Tsubasa Inuzuka, aka Inu Brother. But my second favorite character in all of Don Brothers is the host of the Hitotsuki I chose to take the number one spot on this list. It's a shame that Jaki didn't get that much attention since she appeared in the same episode as Don Killer, a way more more exciting character for most of the Super Sentai fans. Tamaki is one of the greatest characters in Don Brothers, and Moe Kaukawa's performance was so great, when I was watching the 39th episode of Don Brothers, I almost forgot about Miko Toyamada. In fact, I was more excited for her return to the series in episode 47 than I was for anything related to King Oger at the time. Now, I could go on about how getting introduced to Moe Kaukawa inspired me to try new things, such as watching Super Sentai seasons I normally wouldn't think about, or trying to do collabs with others in the Toku community. Not that I'm hinting at one of my future projects or anything. But that's not why you're watching this video, so I'll just end this part by saying that I hope she gets cast in another season like King Oger. But there's a chance the role of Kamakiri Oger might end up going to Sora Taguchi instead. Anyway, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I have nothing to do with Shiro Ninja.